Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm talking about a rather fascinating story I've just came across, which is the story of Rob Conway in the National Wrestling Alliance. Now, if you're anything like me and you love stories about wrestlers coming across other wrestlers you never would have expected them to meet, you might just like this one, because that is why I like it. Rob Conway fit into that kind of category of ruthless aggression superstars that never really made, like, much of a lasting impression and that kind of person who sort of knocks about in the ruthless aggression era for a while and then leaves they tend to either go to the indies or leave wrestling altogether so that's kind of what i expected from rob conway but boy was i wrong now i'm going to do an nwa figure fed and one of my ideas for that fed is to feature as many random figures as possible in it so that as many people as possible kind of get their moments, mostly in one-off appearances. And for some reason, usually when I'm thinking about this idea, it tends to be Rob Conway that I think of first. So I googled Rob Conway and what he got up to after WWE, and very bizarrely, as it turns out, he had quite a considerable run in the NWA that I knew nothing about. So first of all, he's the only person to have ever held the NWA world title and the NWA tag team titles at the same time. He is a four-time NWA Tag Team Champion and a two-time NWA Champion. Now, things get wild when you start looking at his first title reign. So, first of all, Conway defeated Cahagas to win the NWA World Championship. Then, his first title defences were against Satoshi Kojima and Chris Masters. He followed that up with defences against Manabu Nakanishi and Jushin Thunder Liger. Rob Conway beat Jushin Thunder Liger. Reading further on Wikipedia, he and Jack Dane then went on to defeat Davy Boy Smith Jr. and Lance Archer. Before he eventually lost the NWA Championship to Kojima at Wrestle Kingdom 8. Who wrote this? This is just a random assortment of people. Now the rest of Conway's run and his subsequent title runs were more or less the same thing. It was more or less just him wrestling Kojima over and over again and then wrestling Kojima again as part of Tenkozy for the NWA Tag Team Championships. So, I won't really go through everything that happened there, but you have to admit, it's a weird story. It's a weird group of people he came across. And the one thing I don't really understand is if Rob Conway is the only person to hold the NWA title and tag team titles at the same time, how come this re Wikipedia article reads as if he lost the title to Kojima and then lost the tag titles to Kojima? Why doesn't he count? Anyway, that's more or less everything for this video today. I don't even really know how to end this. I sure didn't expect to be making this video when I woke up this morning, but you never know what's going to happen in a day, do you? Alright, thank you for watching, and goodbye.